Hey guys, uh, just want to do a 6,000 mile review on my uh, GMC AT4. Um, you know, this truck has got the 5.3 in it. Um, you know, I ordered this, I didn't order this truck. Um, I bought this truck kind of as a holdover till uh, the, the 2022. I was hoping I would wait until the uh, the ones with Super Cruise came out because for, for some reason I think they're really cool. And so uh, this one isn't, you know, doesn't have as many options as some of them do. Um, this one actually doesn't have the tech package. Um, you know, it doesn't have a sunroof and some stuff like that, which I'm okay with uh, because this is never was never really intended to be a long-term truck. However, this has probably been the best GMC or General Motors truck that I've bought new, and I've had a couple of them, um, you know, throughout my, I guess, my life. You know, I think I had a new 12, and I've had a couple other company trucks I think may have been new. I can't remember now. I've had a bunch of, I've, new, I've had a couple new Fords. Um, had a couple of used uh, Chevrolet and GMCs also. They all kind of run together. I've had so many, and anybody that knows me um, probably knows I've had probably well over 40, 50 cars, so it's kind of hard to keep track. But um, this truck's got about 6,100 miles on it now, um, and it's really been great. You know, there's only been, you know, maybe one or two little minor issues with it that were kind of strange to me. Um, you know, the, I'd say the first thing is the, uh, the infotainment system. Um, you know, it used to have this thing where you would crank it up about once a month and you wouldn't have a radio uh, for about an hour or two. Um, well, probably about an hour and then you cut the truck back off and you cut it back on and the radio would start playing again. So they actually had a technical service bulletin about that. They did an, supposedly did an over the air fix. Uh, and then I actually took it to GMC uh, for an oil change and they did, I guess, a recall or a reflash of it. And then of course the next day it didn't, it did it again, but it hasn't done it since. Um, so, so maybe that's fixed. <laughs> um, the other day, um, the only other thing is it did a, uh, what looked to be the check engine light was flashing. Uh, which I was like, oh great, you know, what is this? Um, but then it went away and it hasn't come back since. Um, I've actually got a code scanner, so I actually went and tried to pull the codes on it. Um, and it didn't pull anything up at all. Um, you know, as usual, you know, the General Motors uh, customer service has been really, really good on it. So, um, you know, they've done, I bought this one from Star GMC in Quakertown. It's been a great truck, uh, great service bay. They always have fresh baked cookies there. That's one of the other reasons I go there. They also have M&M ones. Uh, so something to keep in mind. Um, <laughs> but overall, I've been very happy with the truck. You know, I'd say with the tightness of the interior, um, you know, it doesn't rattle. A lot of my Ford trucks um, tend to rattle after some time. Um, you know, and a lot of folks probably say the same thing about General Motors trucks. Um, you know, this being a lease, I've actually been really happy with it. Um, you know, if they keep a lot of the stuff the same, I may, I'm kind of torn. I, you know, I don't think I'll purchase the next one. I may lease it just because we live up here in the salt belt. Um, you know, looking at this truck, I mean, it's obviously really, really old, but you know, and having that 10th gen F-150, it had a little bit of rust under it, which is nothing crazy. Um, you know, I'm not really sure that that makes the best financial sense, you know, buying a, you know, a, Call it a sixty, seventy thousand dollar truck, and you know, then having it rot away after about seven or eight years, because that's typically when it tends to set in. It's about year seven, uh, is what it is typically what it appears to be like to me. Um, overall, the functionality of the truck is great. Um, you know, I actually said I would show someone the window steer in this truck, and so um, it's it's probably been way long overdue. I actually. Um, had had a couple job changes. I just hadn't had the chance to really, um, to really make a ton of videos as of lately. It's, it's, it, the job change has been good, uh, but the other job was uh, fairly stressful. So, um, so here's actually the window sticker on this truck. So, uh, this truck was actually uh, fifty-eight thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars. Um, you know, so it's, uh, you know, it wasn't the most expensive by any means. You know, I think if I had put the tech package on there, put the 6.2, you know, it would have bumped the truck up to, I think it was like, eh, 63, $64,000. But I'll be real honest with you with that 10 speed transmission. Um, you know, I don't really tow that much. Uh, my, my last truck was a max tow and you know, it comes with the extra coolers and stuff like that. It's great to have the extra power. Um, and, you know, honestly, if I get the next one, I'll probably order it. Um, but in this instance, I kind of just needed a truck. And um, this one was there. It was great shape. Had everything I wanted on it, like a tech package. Like, I don't care that my other truck had the vibrating seat on it. 
I don't think it had a heads up, but it had the uh, the lane keep assist, and it had the um, oh gosh, that that cruise where it would keep the distance between you and the other car. And the thing about it is, it's like you know up here once again in the salt belt and all that craps all over the road. It gets all over the cameras. That stuff's inoper inoperable half the time, anyways. So just something to think about. Uh, so I really don't feel the the need for it to be honest with you. Really, the only things that I'd probably put on this truck or that I would like to have on the next truck. Um, I probably would do the heads up. Um, I might would do the 6.2, honestly, like I've been reading on the forums. Uh, this is a, this was probably a 2020 build, but the, uh, the later 2021 builds are having uh, some lifter problems, it looks like, with the 6.2s especially, for whatever reason, even though I think that they may use the same ones. I haven't personally had any problems. Um, this has actually been a really, really great truck. And, uh, you know, I've actually had a couple dealers, you know, look at trying to buy the thing back from me. And, you know, it just, I don't know. It's like, you know, what would you get next? You know, and with the inflation, the prices and everything, I'm probably just going to hang on to it. And, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. And, um, you know, I'll probably just either, you know, jump into another one. Um, you know, part of me is kind of pondered about buying it out, depending on what the economy looks like then. Um, but I have to think at some point they'll get this, super chip thing straightened out and then uh stuff would kind of go back to normal again another reason i kind of leased it because uh you know back in the day you know you right now you know you get well especially during the chip crisis it's you know to pay msrp supposedly is a good deal i'm just not built that way and then you know after covid you know as it's like ten or eleven thousand dollars off was considered a good deal which i thought was like eh uh, because back in the day when times were good you used to get about fifteen sixteen thousand dollars off sticker off of one of these um, you know, and, you know, I think that when these first came out, you know, I had a buddy of mine that got about 13, five off of one and, you know, they were doing like 10 and I was like, you know, I'll just lease it and, you know, we'll just wait this out and see kind of what happens. And, you know, I still really do like the, uh, the F-150 King ranches. Um, you know, Ford just hadn't been really willing to deal with me on one. Uh, I had a friend of mine in Georgia that tried to put me in one and, uh, you know, I just, we just couldn't make the numbers work or, you know, I just not paying that much for for a truck at least a ford pickup truck or a general motors truck for that much you know i'm not paying a what would it technically be a house note but um you know just to circle back uh this truck has been a a really really good truck the 10 speed transmission in it is probably uh the best transmission that's been in any of these trucks you know and i've driven the 4l60e 4l65 6l80 6r uh 6r80 or whatever you call it you know i've driven all of them um, in various situations and this 10 speed that they developed with Ford is probably the best transmission that I personally driven as far as smoothness um, you know it doesn't jerk around like a six speed does um, you know and, and that's that's saying that you know with, with only 6,000 miles anyways I'm sure it's the converter wears and some of the bands are they not well I don't think that bands I mean when the clutch packs wear and stuff like that it'll change but you know the cool part about this one is you know the, the tech was telling me that everything you know electronically adjusts at time shifts and etc cetera, etc cetera. so i guess you know uh long story short um you know i felt like i got a pretty good deal on this truck um pretty happy with it runs great it's quiet it gets gets about 18 miles per gallon mix um so uh, other than that if you guys have any questions or anything um you know i'll probably make another review here probably around 10,000 miles or something like that uh, but I know a bunch of you guys are looking at these trucks and you know, honestly, my suggestion is probably to wait to buy one. Um, a lot of these dealers are having a heyday right now, uh, just with ripping people off and, you know, nothing more than I'd like to see them, you know, kind of pay the piper when everybody stops buying these things at sticker price. Cause, uh, you know, it's just, it's absurd. Uh, but anyways, if you gotta have one, I guess you gotta have one. But uh, anyways, if y'all have anything, any questions, uh, feel free to uh, leave them in the comments and like and subscribe. Thanks.